Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. I am. So let's get started with this beautiful bottle. This is the um, bottle we have from our whiskey club. As everywhere we are looking for a bottler that or who is um, bottling a bottle <laughs> for us. So this time it's Hadrian from 82 chapters to Newcastle with a um, Tininic. I'm pretty sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, but I found different um, pronunciations on different websites. So I, I have no clue how to pronounce that correctly. But anyway, um, I will tell you something about the distillery. So it's located near Alnes. Um, and so it's not far from Daimo or uh, Glenmorangie in the Northern Highlands. It was built in 1817 by Hugo Monroe with two stilts. So uh, on a legal way, you know what I mean in the 1800s. <laughs> so it's one of, so with that, it's one of the oldest distilleries Scotland has, which is pretty cool. Um, in the 1850s, it was leased by Robert Patterson. No, not that Robert Patterson. <laughs> was my first thought as well, but no. <laughs> and became a property of Munro and Cameron in 1898. In 1905, it was taken over by Robert Ince Cameron and in 1934 by the Scottish Malt Distillers. A second pair of stills was installed in 1962 and a new still building with three pairs of stills was added in 1972, which was, his, uh, which was called Side A. The old building was called Side B and both sides A and B produced um, parallel until 1984, and but then Side B was closed in 1974 and was demolished in 1999. In 1985, there was a temporary complete closure of the distillery and from 1991 on the operation was resumed with or on site A. Unfortunately, most of you will know this distillery from the blending industry, although I know a few people that or who already drank Teninic from certain independent butlers, butlers, <laughs> butlers, I like them, from independent butlers. <laughs> um, so I'm really hoping that it will get uh, the way to more independent bottlings um, and not just in the blended industry because I really like it. I had a stream about it last week. So um, I give you my conclusion first this time. It's a really nice one. So yeah, we'll see what will come. But now, as always, a few facts to the whiskey itself. Um, as I already mentioned, we got five blind samples from Hadrian, or we, I mean the whiskey club, and the decision was made. And it was this distillery, so we had no clue, which is pretty cool. It's the it's another one from the creators of cast rank series. It's a single cast. We have a bourbon cast maturation and a finish and first fill Moscatel Hoxhatch cask. <laughs> it's a 12 year old one and we got 59% of ABV and we only have like 242 bottles. So, but now let's go on to the important things in life. <laughs> we'll see how it tastes. <laughs> So the nose is very fruity, like stone fruits, peaches, apricots. But there's also like an exotic uh, um, fruit, like a mango. And after the fruit cloud, if you want it, call it like that, you find vanilla and caramel as well. So that's pretty interesting. You have two cars and you, you smell both cars. That's pretty cool. So maybe we are tasting two cars as well. Slanche. Oh, I love this mouth feeling. It's nice, smooth, soft. The alcohol is super integrated. I would never guess that we have 59%. So thumbs up from this side. You find uh, the creamy vanilla notes again and caramel popcorn. I like that. Combined with a little like like cotton candy, I would say. 
but without being too sweet because after that you have the other cask you have then again the fruits again again peaches um, apricots but this time i have kind of papaya instead of mango but anyway an exotic one as well so that's a really great balance between them all i really like it the finish is quite medium um, here you find wood spice which i really like that you got it to the end combined with caramel notes so really cool feeling in the finish as well you can try that with water you can add one or two drops or more if you want then you get it more spicy which is cool you get more wood spices and less fruit so i like both with or without water uh, depending on my mood or on the weather i mean today we have beautiful weather with sunshine i prefer the fruit bomb and uh, oh we have another guest say hello <laughs> yeah he also wants to be in the movie <laughs> but if you have weather like when it's getting dark and gray oh yeah go on the table that's fine <laughs> um so if you have yeah dark and gray weather then i would prefer the version with water because of the more spiciness so for me i already told you my conclusion thumbs up for me i love that Max is loving as well. <laughs> uh, cat bomb. Woo. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. I love it. Thumbs up from me. And I'm really happy that uh, the club was uh, made the, or that the club uh, choose this sample for our club bottling. So yay. That's pretty cool. And now, as always, I am excited. Do you know this distillery um, that I can't pronounce correctly? In the stream we already said Tininini. I know that's wrong, but it was quite funny, so. <laughs> do you know that one? And if yes, in what kind of bottlings do you know this one? Um, as I mentioned, I know this from independent bottlers, so that's pretty cool. So maybe you got one or two advices for me where I can have a look. And yeah, otherwise I hope you have a great evening and a great week ahead and we see us on Friday. Bye!